glasses i had a sit down video thank you so much for joining me today if you're finding this channel for the very first time my name is knowing yeah and i'm a nigerian teacher i live and work in lagos nigeria very soon i will be addressing myself as a nigerian farmer well no thanks to mr koro because that's the situation we're currently finding ourselves in in this part of the world let me know how you're all doing in the comment section it's been a bit of a what are you doing how is the whole situation across where you are for me it's not been funny i'd like you to just see this video and you'll understand what i mean by it's not being funny <laughs> there are a lot of teachers on the street right now that are having nothing to feed their families Please, whoever is watching this and you have any teacher, any private school teacher in your area, please kindly help them. Private school teachers are suffering. There are many teachers for the past three months that have not collected a dime. Please, let us help. I want to use this medium to beg all the proprietors and the proprietresses of private school owners to please, for God's sake, help your teachers. The best time you can help them is now. Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you very much. So welcome back. You can tell that it truly, truly, it hasn't been funny. So I'd like to put this out there. If you are somebody who wants to support a teacher, if you're in Nigeria living abroad, and there's a way you can support teachers in Nigeria, please do well to support. And then please, you can use your voice as parents to please talk to the parents association who have raised a certain amount of money at some point, and these funds are lying somewhere. So maybe use this funds to support teachers in their school. Your voice will make a difference in touching the life of a Nigerian. And let me shock you the last time some teachers some teachers were paid was in february 2020 yes the last time they received a paycheck was in 2020 february you know what that means and some since that time have been receiving half of their salary how much is the, the salary of, average, of an average nigerian teacher to even begin with the remuneration believe me is terrible you know that already so let's not just waste time dwelling on video of today i hope i didn't bore you with my worries and my pain sorry if i did but i needed to put it out there thank you so much for your understanding and your patience okay so in today's video i'm going to be sharing three lessons i've learned teaching online so i target three months of yeah that's what this has been for me and for a lot of people across the globe most of us have encountered a lot of things and i would want to agree with me then these three points you may not totally agree with but honestly these are my experiences and my opinions and please permit me to share how i feel about this whole thing so the first thing i've learned teaching online is that technology cannot replace a teacher but a teacher that is tech savvy would replace a teacher that isn't. Can I say that one more time? Technology cannot replace a teacher, but a teacher that is technologically savvy would replace a teacher that is not. <laughs> that I've heard before and this whole situation and this pandemic has brought it to the fore has made it clearer for me to understand that truly truly if you aren't tech savvy and somebody who is tech savvy can easily replace you but tech cannot replace a teacher so the second thing i've learned is that teaching offline it gives you more interaction with children than teaching online yeah there are times when you share children into group and in one hall or in one suite or in the lab you can see every other you can move very quickly but if you put them in different groups in a zoom meeting online before you get to the third or fourth group you will never can tell what may be happening you mean you have to need the assistance of all the teachers to help you go into those groups to find out what's happening with the children they will just abandon your class and start to adjust um if the network throws you out in nigeria that's a normal thing that happens in nigeria network can fling you out of the classroom and then the children would not even be patient to have you come back they just help you change the topic so i see that there's a huge difference between teaching online and teaching offline if you don't let me put it that way and the third and final thing that i have learned i've learned a lot of things but i just wanted to put these three out the third thing that i have learned is that these children that are tagged to 21st century children in every sense of the word you may not agree with me are not truly truly 21st century children and so tech savvy as you would expect 
online teaching has opened my eyes to see. If you have to talk about social media, these children are there, they know what to do, something happens to their Instagram and Twitter account and Snapchat, they're everywhere there. But when it comes to tools that has to do with teaching and learning, Schoology, Edmundo, Google Classroom, Google Slide, Google Doc and every other tools that you would be needing, Kami, Jamboard, don't let me go into all of those, they just act like what's going on here and the parents are calling the children and calling you like you're with 21st century children why are the parents calling you for second per minute help us for stock we don't know what to do and i'm like what youtube is there you can get all the information that you need google is there get all the information that you need you don't have to keep calling us every second some people call you at midnight just so you can get the stress off them and you're like where is the 21st century thing that everyone has been talking about with these children where exactly is it so this online teaching has opened my eyes to truly truly see that when it comes to tools that help them chat and play and become children they're very savvy but when it comes to tools that have to do with teaching and learning hmm, then you get worried about what has happened to this whole thing so i've decided to share this three with you let me know in the comment section what you think if you're seeing me for the very first time or if you've watched my videos at this point and you're not yet subscribed to my channel smash that subscribe button please click on the notification bell that way you get notified when i drop my next video until i come your way in another video please stay safe help somebody and be blessed bye for now if you are new to my channel, click on the subscribe button, tap on the notification bell, like it, comment and share. Thank you.